So I said I'd do some tutorials on how to get audio and MIDI from live into Chords Composer to control these visual elements or any visual elements that you want. This is pretty unsophisticated, simple stuff. I just have a little replicate in space patch with a line in it. Um, macro patch here. I'll show you what's in there. Uh, two cubes, um, or actually four, and they're set up uh, to control one set controls these two and the other controls these two. So um, I just have some things set up there that control, you know, the Y position so we can get them to bounce, um, turn them on and off and individually. So let's get started. The first thing you'll want is audio input. Um, go in here and make sure that you have the correct device. And right now I'm running my audio out from live into Soundflower two channel. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and this has a volume peak, which is just the amplitude of the incoming signal, and a spectrum, which is a structure of 16 um, distinct values. And to get at those values, you use a structure index member. And from what I've... Uh, experienced only the first 12 are really worth anything the last four don't really uh, put out any useful information so you're gonna wanna duplicate this 16 times but for the sake of this demonstration I'm just gonna show you the basic way to get going on this and you're gonna wanna connect that to the structure input of each of these and then go into each one change the index accordingly one two three okay now if I'm running audio which I will uh, do for you right now I got some clips set up in live to demonstrate this and I got some jazzy keys there so we should if we hook this up see some there you go and they're dancing so as you can see, there's not really much responsiveness, even if we go and add some drums. They're not, they're not really moving much. And to solve that problem, <clears throat> what I like to do is take some math patches, and these are the bread and butter of everything I do in in courts is math and manipulating the data to suit your needs. So set this up to multiply, duplicate it for each one of these, which will be 12 if you want to build this and make it <coughs> pretty robust and connect the output of your structure index to this and grab another math patch connect the resulting value to the operand of each one of these um, and then when you create when you turn this into a macro you're going to want to go in and publish this input let's call it amplify um, and let's publish this output, call it frequency one. I like to name everything very uh, descriptively to avoid any confusion down the road. So let's hook this up to the Y position that we had earlier. Um, let's just get those loops going again. And you see the amplifier is at zero, but if we turn this up, we're going to get some... And there you go. Um, 
So you can see how that will work. I'm going to go ahead and grab the one that I built that is uh, complete and has all the controls that I will need to use. Let's open that up. Cut. Paste. Um, so you can see I have all my 12 frequencies and a volume peak. Let's dive in here and you can see I have this is what we just built with the 12 frequencies and the amplifying. All of these are additional math patches to control the uh, the values even. You give you more control over them. Um, and I just have it nice and clean in there so I have my control and my outputs. But so, you know, let's put six, I don't know, two, and Let's make sure that my input, there you go, um, <clears throat> now let's see what happens. see how that works. Now let's just connect the volume peak to this translation value and cue them up again and see what we have. And so there you have the very basics of controlling different things with audio and you know, you can hook all types of stuff up to uh, different things and you know, see what this does. So now we've really got some movement going here. And if you go in and say this, you want to kind of balance it out so it has it you know bounces instead of just to the right it starts on the left so it's more centered you can do that that didn't work let's see what happened oh I mean, you can do all types of things. Uh, turn this up a whole bunch and watch things just go out of control. So you get the idea. Uh, hopefully this... Turn this, bugging me. Um, so hopefully you'll get the, uh, you get the idea of how all this audio stuff work and in my next one I'm going to show you how to use MIDI to turn these on and off and do other cool stuff so I'll see ya.